Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Your Excellency, First Deputy Prime Minister Asadullah Kulamov, Your Excellency, Chairman of Governor Badakhshan Autonomous Oblast, Kadiri Kasim, Your Excellency, Governor of Afghan Badakhshan, Al Hajj Baz Muhammad Ahmadi, Distinguished Hello. Guests. Today's inaugural ceremony marks the culmination of a wonderful process, stretching back over more than a decade. I am honored and humbled to remember that the site where we meet today was graciously presented to me by the then chairman on the occasion of the 40th anniversary of my imamat. Then, some five years ago, the Aachen Trust for Culture began a rich and productive conversation about this site with the people of Korog. We talked about how we might create a new and upgraded park in this place, what it would try to do, how it might be used, and what it should ideally look like. Those conversations quickly fixed on one central goal, to offer all those who would enter here a place for personal reflection, for genuine relaxation, and for deep renewal. Our objective from the start was to ensure that this would always be a tranquil green space, serving all of the people who live in Korog and all of those who visit this city. Our vision for Korog Park is that visitors will truly think of the time they spend here as quality time, in the fullest sense of that word. Moments in their lives during which their spirits will be deeply enriched. Hours filled with experiences that they will both enjoy and remember as times of blessing. We see Korog Park as a place of continuity, playing an intimate role from the earliest weeks of a child's life until that child grows to become a grown-up with his or her own family. And we also see it as a place of change, a park for all seasons of the annual calendar, transforming itself to capture the particular beauty of each particular time of the year. The park is not only a place of beauty to be enjoyed by many generations of future citizens and visitors to Korog. It is also one of the earliest symbols of the processes of change for which I hope and pray in this region. Throughout this part of the world, one reflection of how the natural environment is revered and hallowed has been the importance accorded to green spaces like the one we celebrate today. This quality has been a central part of Tajik and Central Asian culture down through the centuries. I recall, for example, how the poet Saeb Tabrizi wrote about beautiful gardens in any season and in every season, saying that they are places where even the morning dew awaits with expectant eyes and heart. It is indeed with expectant eyes and heart that all of us gather here today to inaugurate on an official basis the Korok City Park. It is in that spirit that I join with you in celebrating the contribution which the park will make to the quality of life in this community for many years and many decades to come. Thank you. از نگاه من محفل باشگاه امروزه ما آید افتتاح این باغ بیشتاسا هم سمره سیاست دوراندشانه و آن همکاره های نیک دوستانه است که چارده سال قبل در بین سرور تاجکان دنیا و سرور اسمایلان جهان افتدا گرفته انتها نخواهد داشت و نشنامه آن رمز گستریش همکاره ها و میوه این دوستی و مناسبت های نیک بخاطر این کشوف میبادهی تاجکستانی سایب استقلال میباشد.